Kellyanne Conway says she is leaving the White House, citing the much-used political excuse, my family needs me. But it just might be true in this case, because lately her daughter Claudia has really been kicking up a fuss as she leverages her online popularity to chastise her mother for her association and support of Trump's racket. So far, Kellyanne had to deal with her conservative lawyer husband George, fiercely opposing the Donald. And many wondered, given Kellyanne's staunch defense of Trump's antics, how in heaven's name that household could possibly operate. But it seems that the emergence of Claudia's growing rebuke, culminating in her public expression of a desire to be emancipated from her parents, might finally have proved too much for Kellyanne, and she stated she is leaving her Trump post by the end of August. Pisces rising, with Neptune in the ninth, fits well as a communications and media consultant, and the sextile to the 11th house sun, and a trine to Jupiter, makes her about as effective as anyone could be at doing the job of defending the indefensible for Trump. At the same time, Neptune is part of a T-square with Venus and the moon, which on the plus side gives her the energy and motivation to work those information dissemination houses with great intensity, which I'm sure she enjoys, but the dynamic nature of a T-square guarantees a bit of a high-wire act, and working for Trump has to be that too. Perhaps her greatest achievement has been to elude getting on the wrong side of the orange menace for almost four years. Capricorn with Moon and Taurus is very grounded and practical, and the Pisces Ascendant allows one to sense the flow of things and stay out of trouble. Pisces can be very slippery and chameleon-like, and this is very useful within the crazed political environment she has been navigating. Of course, we also have to consider that Pisces rising goes to the ruler, Jupiter in the fifth, of children, which has been effectively under Saturn pressure since the spring, making pretty much the whole of 2020 a year featuring a major Saturn hit on her children's house. Note that Jupiter is retrograde at birth and has backtracked to 24 and a half degrees, so it's getting intense Saturn action right around now and has also been under 2020 Pluto pressure. And of course, the Sun and late Capricorn is part of this as well. All of this means changes in the air, and as can happen when it's due to a conjunction, square, or opposition, it is of the forced kind. Mars, at 22.5 Libra, is also getting pressure from the triple Capricorn transit, which adds to the change profile, and Neptune, which has already opposed Pluto in that mutable opposition formed by Uranus and Pluto opposing Saturn, makes for three major transits happening in 2020. And because of Saturn and Pluto stations coming up in the fall, the urgency of change has finally reached a peak. Notice that she went to work for Trump with Saturn transiting through her 10th zenith midheaven of career in 2016. And at that time, Jupiter was emerging into the public hemisphere of the chart, the upper hemisphere. It went through Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, and Sagittarius, and this helped her to maintain her White House position. And the Capricorn-Jupiter transit in 2020 might have been the culmination of her run were it not for her daughter's opposition. Claudia was 12 when she took the job, but now she approaches 16 and her mind is working a little too clearly for her mother. Then again, Kellyanne might be lucky since in all likelihood she is leaving what appears to be a sinking ship, so in that sense her timing couldn't be better. Personally, I have found her way of operating to reflect what I find most objectionable about Capricorn and Pisces. Strategy and sensitivity in the service of hypocrisy and corruption isn't my cup of tea. Maybe it's true she is escaping at the perfect time, but I hope that as a political advocate, her career is forever tarnished from her association to Trump. Though it's humanly impossible to lie as much as the lying machine himself, the orange menace, Kellyanne has been a steady purveyor of whoppers the last few years, and her gaslighting is infuriating and irritating. She was the famous originator of the ultimate BS in the phrase, alternative facts. So I'll end by saying that most of us hope she's forced out of politics and into an alternative career, and that she also discovers that there is no alternative to karma.